I mentioned this last time, but it is important because we are now seeing a bioaccumulation of microplastics in the brain. So because of the plastics we're consuming and also industry and in the water supply and those things, we are finding a lot of plastics, microplastics starting to accumulate. And they're finding that these microplastics, they are accumulating in the brain more than they are other tissues. And guess what that can contribute to? Dementias, of course, right? So finally, even greater accumulations of these microplastics were observed in a cohort of descendant of brains uh, documenting documented uh, dementia diagnosis. So they're basically saying here that there that there's more of these microplastics are being found deposited. These nanoplastics are being deposited in the brain, and it's affecting memory, infecting and causing an increase in dementia. Atrophy, atrophy of brain tissue, impaired blood brain barrier integrity, and poor clearance mechanisms are hallmarks of dementia. And that's what they're finding is when we have more microplastics in the brain, when people are using more and more plastics on a regular basis, you're going to have more nanoplastics, microplastics that are, that are going to be that are going to you're going to be exposed to, and it's you're going to have more accumulation. We as a society, we've done this to ourselves, and we know that there are hormone properties, the endocrine disrupting properties of these chemicals. We need to get further and further away from them. Don't get closer and closer to them. Plastics, there's nothing about plastic that is good for your body whatsoever. We need to, for our kids' sake, for our grand, our, our parents' sakes and our grandparents' sakes, try to stay further and further away from plastics and plastic water bottles and cooking in plastics and all those things and, and doing good filtration. And just remember that, uh, you know, what, what we put into our body does make a difference. Uh, toxicity of food dies as well.